Hello and welcome. This is Jit Dolakia and you are watching is Tomorrow News. Powerful storm set to sweep through Middle East. A huge area of low pressure in the upper part of the atmosphere is sweeping across much of the eastern half of North Africa. It is bringing with it significantly cooler weather which extends from the coast of Libya and Egypt as far as south as northern Chad and South Sudan. Sudan's capital of Khartoum is expected to see a drop in temperature from 38 degrees Celsius on Thursday to 27 degrees Celsius on Friday. But the greatest effect of this weather system is expected to be felt further north and east as it continues to develop and it is already gathering a deepening low pressure system at the surface. Gusts twice as strong as average winter storm may damage power lines, traffic lights, elite in Israel could be cut off by flash floods, authorities warn. Already buffeted by the political gridlock and facing a shattering of key industries over the coronavirus threat, Israelis were informed on Thursday they should brace themselves for yet another storm. Local authorities issued warnings Thursday over winds set to surpass 100 km per hour, dense dust clouds and enough rain to cut off outlying cities and threaten large cities with severe flooding. Israel's southwestern neighbor Egypt announced it was shutting schools and universities on Thursday over fears that the storm will cause severe flooding, local media reported. The weather warning by Israeli authorities begins at 8 p.m. Thursday when winds are expected to pick up and reach 100 km per hour in mountainous areas in the center of north of country, from the Jordan Hills to the Carmel Range above Haifa. The storm affected areas will then expand to include much of the densely populated coastal plains. Thunderstorms over central and northern Egypt are likely to become more widespread during Thursday afternoon and evening with computer forecasts suggesting a peak risk over Cairo about 3 pm GMT. More than 25 mm of rain could fall within a couple of hours and this is expected to cause severe flooding. Very strong damaging winds are also expected. The strong winds will possibly intensify across northern Egypt overnight as a risk of thunderstorm sweeps across Israel, Jordan and northern parts of Saudi Arabia. With such strong winds, a huge amount of dust and sand is likely to be raised by the low pressure system. Northern Egypt, including Cairo, can expect a drastic reduction in visibility during Friday morning. During Saturday, severe thunderstorms are likely through central Iraq as the strong southerly winds blow dust from the Tigris and Euphrates River Valley. Much of Iraq, Kuwait and northeastern Saudi Arabia could suffer significant disruption. Air travelers should expect delays and cancellations across the region over the next two or three days. The system will weaken as it tracks across Iraq and Kuwait later on Saturday and by Sunday for most of us. It should be settled back in the warm and sunny weather we expect in the Middle East at this time of the year. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news, Jit Dolakia. For more weather updates like this, do like, share and subscribe our channel.